So now that we have the code that Tembu generated, let's go ahead and copy and paste that into Energia. Um, so you can see that it actually generates two um, code blocks. This one here is your main sketch. This is your main application, and you get the complete setup and loop function that you might already be accustomed to when it comes to an Energia or wiring-based sketch. Um, in addition, it also generates a header file. And in this header file, you get uh, your Tembu credentials as well as your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. So we're going to actually copy and paste both of these into an Energia sketch. So first, let's go ahead and grab the main application code by clicking this copy button. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste it here into Energia, into a blank sketch. So I'm just going to delete everything here and replace it with the code that Tembu generated. Perfect. And you can see that Tembu is already including all the appropriate libraries um, that are required to make all of this work. Um, now, the next thing I need to do is add a new tab. And this is where I'm going to create a new tab called Tembu.h, or I'm sorry, Tembu account.h. And that's going to create a new tab here in my application. I'm going to go back here to Tembu, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that second code block, which was my uh, header file. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Great. Um, so now, this thing should be able to just send me a text message. Um, and in this case, this will simply send me a text message every 30 seconds. Um, as you can see here in the, uh, in the very bottom, there's a delay here for 30,000 milliseconds. So there isn't any application intelligence or application logic in the code that Chem Tembu generates. That's still up to us as a developer to inject into the application. Um, but just to make sure that it works, let's go ahead and compile and flash this code onto my Wi-Fi connected launchpad. Um, one thing to note here is that there is a if statement here. So Tembu's code that it generates will basically um, trigger a text message 10 times because max number of runs is defined up here at the top of my code. Um, and, and you can see that um, is established here. So in this case, it's simply just going to run through a couple of test cases. It'll try to send a text message 10 times every 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and flash this to my launchpad. So it'll compile that code, flash it to my launchpad, and um, switching back here to the live video of my launchpad, um, it's basically going to connect to Wi-Fi, it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that I have here, and then eventually it's going to send a text message to my phone um, that will say that, um, you know, we, we need to water the plant. Um, again, there's no intelligence or logic here because we haven't added in the if statement required to trigger this uh, Tembu code um, when it's appropriate. Um, but in this case, we're simply testing out the cloud component um, of our application. So it looks like the uh, code is done compiling. I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal here, and I'm going to hit reset on the board just so that you can see um, what's happening here. So first, it identifies that we have the booster pack plugged on top. Um, it's going to try a few times to connect to Wi-Fi, and I've got my hotspot here um, turned on. Let's see here, and let's give it a second to uh, to connect. There you go. So you can see now it says Wi-Fi OK. It was able to authenticate with my Wi-Fi. Um, and now it's trying to run the uh, send SMS choreo. Um, so it's initiating run number one, and hopefully we'll get a success message uh, here on the uh, terminal. But here's my cell phone. I'll hold it up here so that we can see, um, you know, when that text message comes in. There we go. So it looks like we got a success response on the terminal of Energia. So now we can just wait here to see the text message. Um, and there you go. You can actually see it there um, at the very top of my uh, phone. So it says, uh, I need water. I'm, I'm thirsty from your plant. So that text message came in. Um, so perfect. The cloud part works. I was able to generate that text message, uh, no problem. Um, and the exciting part there is that I was able to do this without writing a single line of code. Um, I simply used Tembu's website to populate a few parameters to make all of this happen. And that same user experience is available for um, various websites. Uh, Twilio is just one example of many of how Tembu can make it really easy to make your Wi-Fi connected launchpad interact with the cloud. Um, great, so now that we have the cloud part working, um, the next step is integrating this with the analog read function that we used earlier to detect moisture. Um, and we'll go ahead and tackle that next.